Exponents and radicals. Question 6. Simplify square root 12 plus square root 45 plus square root 18. So let's write down them in a much simpler or factored form. So 12 can be written as 4 times 3. So why are we writing 4 times 3? Because 4 is a perfect square, right? So we'll write 12 as square root of 4 times 3. So that is square root 12 plus 45 as 9 times 5. 9 times 5. And 18 can be written as 9 times 2, right? So I've purposely used these numbers. I could have written 6 times 2, but that really doesn't help me to solve or simplify a square root function, right? Now how does 4 times 3 help me? 4, you know, is a perfect square. 4 is a square of 2, right? Think like this. 4 is 2 square, right? That is why I wrote like this. And 9 is 3 square, correct? And 9 is 3 square, yes. So, so now, from the square root, 2 and 2 times 2, so there are two common factors. I can take out 1, so it becomes 2 square root 3 for me. Plus, this is 3 square root 5. And here, I have 3 square root 2. So that is a simplified version of the given expression, square root 12 plus square root 45 plus square root 18. Now, I can't simplify them further because within the radical, we have different square roots. So these are like different terms. They are not like terms. So I can't add them up now. Okay. So that is the simplest form it can be written in. Thank you.